Welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to replace the wheels on your vehicle with new ones. This tutorial is an updated version of one of my old tutorials. Before you start watching, I recommend you first watch the tutorial without actually doing anything, and then watch it again and follow along. This way you can get a proper idea of each step in the process. Okay, let's begin. So, I've got one of uh, TGIGA's wheels here, and I'm going to swap it onto the Oracle. And then I will show how to uh, set the scale of the pop tire in vehicles.meta. One thing to note about this video is it does not cover swapping wheels from one vehicle to another, but the process is more or less the same, with the only differences being that you may not need to scale the wheel as much. Be sure to follow the same process and everything should work out fine for you. If you do not want to scale the wheel from the other vehicle down to fit your own, then you can just set the location of the wheel and then scale down the collision so everything fits. Of course, if you do this, you need to make sure that you fix the wheel scale in vehicles.meta as usual. Okay, back to the video. So first things first, I'm going to turn everything off. I'm going to open up the Oracle. And I'm going to find wheel LF. Then I will find the wheel, the dot mesh, and I will dismiss it. We'll also put these into order. Okay. Now we'll go to display, local access tools, and then we'll use the copy, copies local access from one node to another. And then we'll hit this arrow up here and we will turn off keep object. And then you left click on the original wheel and right click on the new one. And then we'll just do that two more times for each of the lots. Now I'm going to left click, hold shift and then left click on the bottom one. In the hierarchy and then alt left click on the boxes to select them. And then we will uh, switch to left view here. So if you're in a different view, you can just click up here and then click left. Then we're going to turn off pivot. I'm going to modify scale. We'll make sure on screen and X and Y is ticked. And then you hold shift and scale down. I'm going to scale until it fits. The tire has the same poly count on L0 as well, so you can get it to fit perfectly, like so. I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to scale on the X. You don't have to hold shift for this one. So it's the same or very similar width to the original. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss wheel LF. I'm going to delete all of these LODs. I'm then going to copy the L2 LOD. And uh, it's already named L3. Let me just fix these names. Because Zmod fucked them up a little bit. Alright, so now that we've created our copy, I'm going to compound it under the new wheel. So up here in wheel LF, we're going to turn off L0, convert to compound, and lock it. And then turn back on L0, and then we will drag and drop our L0 mesh. And our L1, then our L2, and our L3. Like so. And I'll delete that dummy because I don't need it anymore. That will turn everything on and see how it looks. Yes, that looks pretty good. This material means it will be paintable in the uh, game, so that's fine. I don't mind that. That uh, looks like the brake disc scale is good as well, so I don't need to change that. And its position is also fine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to OpenIV. I've already got it open here. I'm going to go to Stu Oracle C, DLC to RPF. Sorry, yeah, DLC to RPF, uh, data, vehicles.meta. Let's activate edit mode. And then down here, we got wheel scale, wheel scale rear for the wheels. 
and then we will just minimize that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on wheel LF and the wheel LF call. We're going to create a copy of the collision. We're going to select it. Make sure pivot is still turned off. We'll turn back on X and Y. Then we'll switch back to left view again. Then we're going to scale this down to the gap in between the wheel and the tire. Now, on any wheel and tire that's been set up properly, there will be a gap between the wheel and the tire. And the reason why is because uh, the, the way of the way that um, GTA handles pop tires. So what it does is it scales everything that is outside of a certain point to zero. So it's like microscopic. And if, for example, your uh, vertex for the tire is too close or in behind the, this uh, rim mesh, then what it'll do is it'll scale everything other than the this full edge going around the tire, which will stretch the mesh and actually make it look like that uh, it's joining, and then like it will fill this in basically. Anyway, we've got our scale now for this. We'll go to properties. We can see here scale y two nine three six eight six. So that's what we need to write in here. So two nine three. 686 six. and then we'll copy that and paste it for the wheel scale rear as well if you have a different sized wheel in the rear then you'll uh, do a different size for that one but they're both the same on this car so we'll save that and then we'll delete this additional wheel collision and then we'll export the car So there's that exported, and now we will drag and drop it into vehicles.rpf. So we'll find it in here. Like so. So that's that sorted. Uh, the LOD model got bigger because um, I just copied the L2 LOD and used it for L3. Uh, normally you'd want to make sure that um, obviously L3 is more optimized than L2, but um, I didn't bother with this because it just sort of ever complicates the tutorial. And I've already got a LOD tutorial that exists already, so it's not too bad. Okay. So that is sorted now, and now we will test to make sure that this works. Okay, so we've loaded in now. Let's spawn the car. Here it is. We've got our new wheels. And we will make sure that they pop properly by getting out a gun and shooting them. And then we'll drive until it pops. There we go. As you can see here, it's popped properly and it looks good.
And that is how you swap wheels onto your car. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want.